out of the box, this iPhone and this D75 won't talk to one another. But now we have a solution. Stick around and we'll get right to it. So the Bluetooth connection between the iPhone and the D75 will not communicate with one another. Varying technologies, whatever. I don't know. I just want these two to talk together. Well, the guy that created Radio Mail has now come up with this little device. As you can see, this is super, super small and it's USB-C compatible. Simply plugging this in to the bottom of the iPhone will give you that link that you need between the two devices. Now I'm running an older iPhone, so I'm going to utilize this battery bank that has a USB-C connection on it to power this BB-Link device. Now you will need the BB-Link config tool on your phone to be able to set this up. Once you open up the app, you should see the BB-Link listed right there under nearby adapters. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then choose connect. Once we're on this screen, we've got a few different options. We can update the firmware if you don't have the latest version installed. And it's nice to be able to do that over Bluetooth. Mine is the latest version as of the time of this recording. So I'm going to go ahead and choose pair the radio. So we'll click on that top option and it's going to tell me to put the radio in Bluetooth pairing mode. So let's go ahead and do that on the radio. Once it's in pairing mode, we can simply click OK on the screen and give it just a couple of seconds. It should locate your D74 or D75. We can simply click on this here and we will get a notice right here that says to remember to press OK on the radio. So I'll go ahead and do that and we'll press done here. And that's how simple it is to get this set up. Now, let's see how to use this in Radio Mail. So after you're inside the Radio Mail app, we're simply going to click Settings right up in the top left-hand corner. And then we're going to come down to Packet Kiss TNC Modem. Let's go ahead and touch on that. You'll see right now I have the MobiLink TNC4 selected. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And we should see BB Link right there. Let's go ahead and click on BB Link, and that should be all we have to do. We'll go ahead and get out of this setting screen and return to the mailbox. Now we can click on the envelope down in the bottom left hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and select my packet gateway for this attempt and then click connect. And it's that easy to get this device set up. Now, in addition to Radio Mail, this will also allow you to use the TNC of the D75 with applications like APRS.fi. So it's kind of a dual function device. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.